Alright, in this video I'm going to show how you can change someone's eye color. The first thing we want to do is load up a picture, anybody that you want to change their eye color. And what we want to do is zoom in on the eye that we're interested in working on. Go ahead and press Z on your keyboard to get the zoom tool and draw a rectangle right around the eye. Now that we're zoomed in, what we want to do is make a selection of the iris, the part that we want to change the color on. To do this, I'm going to use the quick mask mode. Now there's a couple things that we need to set up to make sure that it works correctly. The first thing is we need to set our colors. We can see right here we've uh, got green and blue. We want to put those back to the default colors. You can click this little uh, black and white icon here or press D on your keyboard and it switches to the default which is black as the foreground, white as the background. Um, the next thing that we want to do is make sure that we have the brush selected. You can come click right here on the brush or just hit B on your keyboard and your brush is selected. Now, selecting the right size brush is important as well as the softness around the edge. If we come up here, we can see we've got different size brushes. Uh, let's pick a 65. There's the hardness. We can slide that way up and that makes the edge very sharp and very crisp. We actually want a nice feather on it. So we'll back that all the way down to hardness of zero. And we'll go 65 and you can see when you come out here that uh, it's, it's about right the right size that we're looking for. Now what I like to do is move the mouse around to about the size uh, to the area where between the pupil and let's say the eyelashes and we want the brush to be about that size. So I'm going to back it down. Now, how I'm changing the size of the brush is I'm using the square bracket keys. Those are the two keys right next to the P on the keyboard. The left square bracket key, the one directly next to the P, makes it smaller. The next one over, the right square bracket key, makes it a little bit larger. So when I get one selected that's right about the size that I, I like, I'm going to press Q on the keyboard. Now, when we selected the color as black as our, as our foreground, when I click and start painting, it paints in this nice bright red color. This is going to be the area that we're interested in changing the color on. So I'm going to go ahead and paint around all the iris, uh, the area that we want to change to a different color, and then fill it all in and we just keep painting in here. Now let me show you if you happen to go someplace that you don't want to the mouse just slips oops, right over in that area. What we want to do is paint with white. Now the easy way to switch these colors and it's a great way when you're using the quick mask tool is use the letter X on the keyboard and that switched our foreground and background color and then I can paint and white takes away. X again draws back white paints away. So we can go ahead and just touch up anything that we got where we didn't want the mask to go. Now that we've painted everywhere that we're interested in, go ahead and press Q on the keyboard. Now you'll notice it brought in those little marching ants. Now actually this looks like the selection we want, but if we zoom back out, I'm zooming out by hitting control and minus, uh, the minus on the number pad, it zooms out and you can see that there's the selection which is pretty much everything except the iris. Not what we want, we want the iris selected. So to inverse this we can go to selections and we can go to inverse. Notice it's uh, shift control I if you want to use the keyboard. Now it's just the section we want. Let's go ahead and click Z and zoom back in and there we go, we've got this in here. Now, here's the tricky part. We want to hold the Alt key down during this next selection. And see this little icon right down here at the bottom that has a little circle with half black, half white in it? Go ahead and hold the Alt key down and then click once and that brings up a menu. Then go up, you can let go of the Alt key now, go up and choose black and white and you'll get this dialog right here. Now, if you didn't get this dialog up, this little window here, let me show you what would happen if you didn't hold down the Alt key and you made that same selection, you would get this window. This is not what we want just yet. This one will come up here in just a second and I'll show you. But let's go over that again. Hold down the Alt key, click on that. You can let go of the Alt key, come choose black and white. This little dialog comes up. What we want to do is choose this option right here. Use previous layer to create clipping mask. Go ahead and check that on and click OK. Now you see this dialog. Notice that the uh, iris that we were interested in changed to black, black and white. Go ahead and click tint and you'll start to see that it's filling it with some color. Now you can move this hue slider around. Let's say we want to make it a nice pretty blue. So there's blue. 
you can adjust the saturation you can push it real bright that's kind of crazy you can back it down to something that's um, about more natural and go ahead and say OK and if we back out a little bit here we we'll hit control minus again and we can back out and see there's a nice pretty blue eye you can also adjust the opacity layer you can take a little more of it away or push it back up to 100 percent and again if you want to change it to a different color after you've already done this come in in this little section right here the square with the black and the white in it double click on it and it'll bring it back up and you can move this slider around let's go ahead and make it a, a nice pretty green and say OK and in this case we probably want to lower the opacity to make it look a little more natural there's a nice pretty green eye mm -hmm.